Welcome to another Golf Suits Tech Tip. I'm Brett Taylor. What we're going to discuss today is how I use it with my students and how you might benefit from using the Golf Sense as well. We've got three categories of things that I like to measure. One is tempo, the second thing is the swing shape, or how the path of the backswing matches the path of the downswing, and thirdly, the, the club head speed and how you can use those things to benefit your game. First of all, is tempo. Very simple. Temp tempo needs to have a one count from the downswing and a three count from the backswing. Basically what that amounts to is the backswing should measure out three times longer than the downswing. So if the downswing is three tenths of a second, let's just say, that backswing should be pretty close to nine tenths of a second. There's your three to one ratio. If you get out of whack, typically it's better to, to change the backswing tempo, the timing that it takes to get to the backswing to match your downswing tempo. So what I would do if I were you is just go ahead and hit some shots with your device on, measure it out, see where that tempo is. If let's say that backswing is point, eh, six tenths of a second, and the downswing is three tenths of a second, you're better off slowing that backswing up as opposed to speeding up the downswing to match the, the six tenths of a second backswing. So change the backswing to match the downswing, it's going to help a lot. Second way that I use it with my students is the swing shape. From this angle, this is what you'll see when you pull up the app, is the backswing, the yellow plane, and the green in the downswing. I like those paths to be fairly consistent. It just makes for a much easier way of improving the shape of your swing. Most high handicappers go inside and then over when they're coming in the downswing. So you'll see a huge separation between the, the backswing swing path and the downswing swing path. We wanna get those a little bit tighter. On the flip side, better players tend to go up under plane in the downswing. If we can work on getting those paths a little bit tighter together, it's definitely gonna make that swing far more consistent than it's been in the past. And the last thing is club head speed. I don't know of anyone that doesn't wanna hit the ball further and doesn't want more club head speed. What I'm using the app for predominantly, Golf Sense is great at this, is measuring the club head speed over time. So now we're able to actually not just assess it, but we're measuring what's happening with the club head speed. And I can see if what we're working on is actually being of use or of no use. We'll make other adjustments to get that club head speed improving in the long run. So I use it over time by and large. And I'm measuring and re-measuring as, as we proceed to see how, how effective our, our changes are. That's how I use it. Hope that's useful to you. And uh, we'll talk again in the near future on another Golf Sense Tech Tip.